Did the secret agreement concluded by Hidoe pay off in the end? The result was heartless and cruel. After the battle, Ieyasu invalidated the agreement. Orders were given to strip the Mori clan of its 1.2 million koku. Hidoe, who had concluded the secret agreement, was given two provinces, Suo and Nagato, totaling approximately 300,000 koku. Hidoe was devastated. The act which he had taken in order to save the Mori clan had doomed it instead. Hidoe pleaded desperately with Ieyasu, and in the end, the two provinces of Suo and Nagato were recognized as belonging to the Mori clan. Hidoe himself was given the land of Iwakuni, 30,000 koku in size, within the Mori territory. In a sense then, Hidoe did succeed in saving the Mori clan. However, Hidoe found himself in a difficult position. As many among the Mori clan condemned him for his actions, they were angry that the Mori clan, which once boasted lands producing 1.2 million koku, had been greatly reduced. And they criticized Hidoe for negotiating secretly with the Tokugawa clan on his own. They also suggested that a victory by the Western armies might have been possible if the Mori army had joined the fight at Sekigahara. Hidoe sent this letter to Terumoto Mori, explaining his actions. I regret that the public holds my actions at Sekigahara to be a cause of the Western Army's defeat. Ieyasu now controls eight provinces, and powerful daimyo everywhere are aligning themselves with the Eastern Armies and Ieyasu. There is much to be gained by joining with Ieyasu. However, if we are defeated by him, we will have lost the trust of the other daimyo. I ask that you give your consideration to my request. However, the relationship could not be repaired, and relations between the Mori clan and the Kikawa clan continued to be rocky and difficult for more than 200 years. Sekigahara no tatakai no ato, Iwakuni no chin yutsuru koto to natta Hiroie ga shiro o tsukuru basho ni eranda no ga koko Yokoyama no chojo. Sore dewa saisho no gimon ni tachikaete mimasho. How did Kikkawa Hiroie make the world of the world of Yamajiro? The question is, how did Kikkawa Hiroie make the Nishikigawa River flows from the west side of Mount Yokoyama and surrounds nearly three-fourths of the castle, forming a natural moat. Hidoe selected a mountain castle because Tokugawa Japan was still far from stable, and Hidoe planned for the Kikawa clan to lead the Mori forces and recover the 1.2 million Mori Koku if war should break out again. The mountain castle was a symbol of his loyalty to the Mori clan. However, this castle was to come to a tragic end. In 1615, seven years after the castle was completed, the one province, one castle law was issued. At this time, Terumoto Mori ordered Hidoe to dismantle Iwakuni Castle. Hidoe protested to Terumoto that Iwakuni Castle was the only castle in Suo province and moreover had been recognized by Ieyasu Tokugawa. However, in the end, not wanting to further worsen relations with the Mori clan, Hidoe ordered that the castle be dismantled.
As a result, Iwakuni Castle was destroyed after standing for only seven years. Sixteen fifteen, fifty eight years before the completion of the Kintai Bridge. Hiroe constructed offices to administer the Iwakuni domain at the base of Mount Yokoyama, and the higher ranking samurai were housed nearby. However, Hiroe's plan for this city, which was focused primarily on its defense, also presented some difficulties for the government. There was limited area on Mount Yokoyama, and the majority of mid ranking and lower officials were forced to live on the opposite bank of the Nishikigawa River, an area known as Nishimi. As a result, the castle town spread across both sides of the river. Previously, the people relied on ferry boats in order to cross the river. However, the boats were unable to cross when the river level was high due to heavy rains. The Iwakuni domain needed a bridge that would connect the two riverbanks, and it was this need which led to the construction of the Kintai Bridge. Therefore, if Hidoe Kikawa had not chosen to build the castle on the Yokoyama side, most likely the Kintai Bridge would never have been built. Because of the urgent need for a bridge, several bridges were built prior to the Kintai Bridge. Surviving materials confirm the existence of these bridges and contain instructions such as repair Yokoyama Bridge immediately if it is damaged and do not light fires underneath the bridge. However, the riverbed of the Nishikigawa River is made of sand to a depth of several tens of meters. The bridge pillars of an ordinary bridge would be washed away by floods or storms. そこ橋は流されてしまうという強い固定観念を作り上げていたのです。そこで、橋を流されてしまうという強い固定観念を作り上げていたのです。そこで、橋を流されてしまうという強い固定観念を作り上げていたのです。そこで、橋を流されてしまうという